Hey guys, it's Scott here with your reviews to look at this beautiful Rocky Ridge 2019 Raptor. So come along with me and let's check it out. This video has been made possible by Empire Ford of New Bedford. They've got over 250 new vehicles on the lot and a ton of awesome Rocky Ridge special edition truck. I'll put all of their contact information in the description as well as their website. Go check them out. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and go over this Rocky Ridge Ford Raptor. And what are the differences between this one and a standard Raptor? As you can see, the very first thing that pops out at you is that two-tone paint. So this paint color is called Ruby Red. And as you can see in the sun, it turns from a red, again, kind of like a ruby red color, down to more of a black color. So really that's great, especially for when uh, you're really actually off-roading it and there's mud on the bottom. The top still looks good, the bottom, it's kind of black, so it kind of blends in uh, with any kind, of a, any kind of dirt or anything you have on it. Um, next, we'll move on to the, the wheels. The rims are 20 inches and they are wrapped in 37 by 12 and a half Nitto Trail Grapplers. The next big thing that you'll notice is these beautiful bright red Rocky Ridge caliper covers. They do really pop uh, against that black rim, which is really awesome. This does have a four inch suspension lift. The 2019 Ford Raptor gets Fox three inch internal bypass shocks, which now use live valve which uses various sensors on the body and suspension to change the compression rate in real time. Another thing that you'll notice is this Rocky Ridge cross member. Right here in the middle, uh, just to tie it all together. It also does have a skid plate here. This is, it's a metal skid plate. So that'll definitely help if you're really actually taking this thing off-road. Although for the price, I'm not sure you're gonna really take it much off-road. <laughs> anyway, so let's go around to this side same tires and wheels on this side we do have these these vents uh, i'm not sure if they're functional or not um i don't think they are they actually they might they might exhaust some from some heat from the inside but that's pretty much all they're going to do um, we'll go ahead and check out these running boards so as you can see they say amp research on them and this is part of the rocky ridge package so that's where those come from We'll get into the interior in just a minute. So again, the same thing, these, these beautiful live valve shocks on the back. Uh, they are, like I said, internal bypass and they're electronically adjustable. This does have a 410 rear end. So it'd be really good for uh, towing, acceleration, things like that. And you just gotta love the way that this, this light looks. It's just, I think that, I think these are some of the best looking taillights in the industry. So we do have the taillights on now. We do have the marker lights as well. Uh, there is uh, red and black lights up there at the top. The next thing that we'll go ahead and take a look at is the bed. And this does have the two times bed. So it is automatic bed. Check that out guys, so convenient. Really nice for when you have a lot of stuff, you're loading up your bed, etc. So we'll do, so take out this step. And this is an optional extra. Um, if you really use your bed a lot, it makes it super easy to get up here. So you're just going to step on here, use this hand, hand guard to get up here. While you're up here, I will also notice the panoramic sunroof, which is really nice. And again, this paint is just absolutely awesome. So again, this is a five and a half foot bed. Things to note in here is box link system. And it does also have these bed lights as well and they do go off nice and slow when they turn off. And this does have a bed liner as well. That's not standard, but that does come with that. Again, the boxing system, and you also have some tie downs as well. So let's go ahead and hop down here, grab our handrail, step on our step. And again, especially because this thing is so high, that makes it really nice to get in and out of that bed. So go ahead and put this thing down. Again, with one hand is a little difficult, but. That's that, and so it's labeled one and two. So we'll go ahead and do that. That's that. Next, you have the step. It does not go up automatically, but it does go down automatically. On the tailgate itself, it is a color matched Ford Raptor uh, emblem. We've also got the 360 backup camera. This is 360 degrees. There's one in the back, two in the mirrors, and one in that front. 
grill as well this little sensor is on that tailgate if, if there's something in the way it's not going to allow you to put the tailgate down it does have standard dual exhaust pipes then you've got your marker lights and also you have your blind spot monitoring system in the rear tail lights as well so again that's pretty much the exterior of the truck guys again uh, this is a special edition raptor so uh, we'll show you all the different other features um, in just a moment um, it, it, this is also full led uh, lighting package as well and you also have these marker lights uh, as well all right so what we're going to do now is get a listen to the startup of the raptor from right from the exhaust pipes so we'll go ahead and the raptor key go ahead and start her up oh yeah Ooh, that thing sounds good So that's that. We'll go ahead and climb in and show you the interior features of the truck now. Again, keyless entry, and it does have the side step here. Again, the Raptor is going to be the highest interior package on, uh, you know, in the Ford lineup. We'll go ahead and shut that little beeper off here. Um, the door itself is standard, standard F-150. Um, it is soft touch pretty much everywhere, especially where you rest your arm. This is really nice, nice cushy soft touch material there you do have uh, tons of storage you've got cup holder here um, the bang and olfson sorry this is the bang and olfson sound system so i'll be able to listen to that in a moment standard switch gear here standard switch gear here i love this ford performance uh, little symbol here really nice the seats if you look at them they're super bolstered which is awesome uh, they look they look really good and they're super comfortable as well they do have adjustable lumbar support obviously they're just electronically adjustable as well and they do have this nice pattern here if you take a look we also have raptor specific floor mats which are rubber so again you can just take them out and wash them real easy so let's go ahead and hop into the raptor here and man i'll tell you this seat is super super comfortable and nobody could complain about uh this seat so let's go ahead and climb in start this puppy up all right so you're immediately greeted with the ford f-150 uh, uh oh we got low uh <laughs> low uh low fuel so i don't want to take too too long here we do have the these lights as well so if you want to turn on uh, the lights on the mirrors to kind of illuminate what's on the side of you you can do that well immediately when i turn the truck on we uh we have we have air conditioned seats heated seats so i can hear it going i don't know if you can hear that but anyway so steering wheel super nice very grippy i think to this day it's the only the only truck that has paddle shifters and they are nice they are metal paddle shifters and man it feels great we also have kind of a racy top steering wheel here with the red stripe to kind of denote what's uh what's straight on it's very nice so if we kind of look around here we do have the standard infotainment system eight inches we have the around view camera here so as you can see we've got the sides i don't think there's any kind of like adjustability in terms of like looking around but it does have 360 degree especially with a truck this big uh you definitely want that 360 degree camera especially i can't <laughs> I can't see anything. I can barely see that fusion over there. Anyway, we've got a storage spot up here for cell phones, keys, whatever you want. This is the Bang & Olufsen sound system. This particular truck also has the Ford trailer backup system. So again, if you're pulling something, it makes it super easy uh, to, to back it up. Four-wheel drive. The um, sport uh, steering feel. So we have comfort, normal, and sport steering. It is electronic. Let's go ahead and check out the... Due to copyright, I cannot actually show you the sound coming out of the sound system. So we're just looking, looking at the various uh, cameras here. Here we go. Now we're back to the audio. Uh, we got sources. We do have AM, FM, Sirius. Uh, does have a 400 watt um, AC uh, electrical outlet there. So if you want that as well. It also does have 
the cruise control for off-road as well. So if you're going down a hill or something, it will go downhill at a very slow speed. So if you want to do that as well. Here we have some storage. We got USB ports. You could stick a lot of phones or something in there. We do have two more cup holders and there are there's lights in here as well. It does have adaptive cruise control. Uh, we've got this button lane keep assist here. Adaptive cruise control, that's what these buttons are for here. We do have that. We have an absolutely huge center console here. I mean, literally, I mean, I can stick my arm down in there. It's, 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 it's massive. I mean, you could probably stick a helmet in there without too much trouble. We've got a coin tray, things like that. Uh, and look, it even has pens. Wow, pens. <laughs> So you've got two more cup holders back here. So just in the front here, there are six total cup holders. Very nice. Again, we've got the trailer back up. Uh, this is the trailer braking system here. Auto start stop. I don't think many people that, uh, that buy this truck are gonna wanna have that auto start stop feature enabled. Anyway, we do have a decent sized glove box. Very nice seats. We'll go ahead and look up here at the top here. So we do have all these auxiliary switches. So if you wanna add lights or, I mean, pretty much lights, winches, things like that, you can do that up here. Up here we have um, all the LED interior lights. Here is the panoramic sunroof, so check it out. Very nice. We also do have a wind deflector there. So that's kinda of how far back it goes. It doesn't open all the way, but again, it does have uh, a panoramic sunroof. So it is automatic like that. We also do have a sunshade as well, thank God, because sometimes super hot. If you want to block it off. So that's half, and then we also have, we can also shut that as well. All right, so let's go check out that back seat and see how much legroom, see how big it is back there. All right, so let's check out this back. And from what I hear, this back seat of this F-150 is probably one of the biggest rear seats sorry half ton truck so anyway checking it out as you can see even like this there's an absolute ton of space you could probably fit a bicycle right here just by itself but uh, again we do have the same uh, soft touch plastics back here as in the front do have a cup holder some pockets things like that here uh, beautiful leather back here as well we do have heated rear seats no cooled uh, we have just a normal cigarette lighter there. We got USB ports here, and we also have the same 400 watt inverter here. So really, any kind of power needs you might have, this is, this has got you covered. It's got USBs, like I said, we've got our um, power port, and also we also have the cigarette lighter style. All right, so let's go ahead and flip these seats up to see what we get. Um, we have a couple little cup holders back here. They seem. They seem pretty nice. Uh, I wouldn't want to put like a, a Bubba cup or anything in there with, you know, full of Gatorade or anything, but that is there as well. So let's flip that up. I think this seat just comes right up. That could not be any easier, guys. And really, you could fit a mountain bike back here. You could put whatever you want. I mean, that is an absolute ton of space. As you can see, if I flip this up, like I said, we've got just absolute ton of space back here. You could fit a mountain bike, you could fit whatever you want. It's pretty fantastic. So here, so again, you've got all of the household outlets. This is uh, where that inverter is to kind of just put, put that power throughout the truck. Back here, we have a little space. You might be able to put some type of uh, maybe, I'm not sure, maybe a rifle or something. I'm not sure, just uh, under the rear seat if you'd like. Um, that does out for a little bit of additional storage. So let's go ahead and get back out of the truck. There we go. All right, put that back down. I'll put the other one back down as well. So that's the back seat of the Raptor as well. I mean, this is me sitting in the truck. I mean, this is me sitting behind me. And I mean, I have an enormous amount of space back here. It, it is absolutely beautiful. It is, as you saw on the sticker, a $100,000 truck. However, totally worth it. I imagine driving it is absolutely amazing as well. So anyway, all right guys, so hope you guys enjoyed this tour of the 2019 Rocky Ridge F-150. Again, this does have the 3.5 liter high output V6 twin turbo as all the other Raptors do. There's no changes to that. But if you guys want to come see this truck, 
We are at uh, Ford Empire, Empire Ford in New Bedford, Massachusetts. So come check those guys out. We'll have a link in the description to their website and all their amazing inventory. They have some sweet Shelby Raptors here, uh, Shelby GT Mustangs. They've got a bunch of these Rocky Ridge trucks and hopefully we'll be able to do a couple more tours of some of those in a minute. But uh, if you guys want to check these out, go check out the guys at Empire Ford. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Take care.